Dear friends, I am Dr. K. Kannan, Professor of Mechanical Engineering, Anjali Amal Mahalangim Engineering College, Koyal Vindi. I am happy to meet you again in the video lecture in the subject Thermodynamics in Tamil. This is lecture number 3.8, Problems in the Second Law of Thermodynamics, Part 2. This is the third lecture in Thermodynamics, Unionistic Question Paper, the Second Law of Thermodynamics, the problem solve for now. In the lecture, we solve few more problem from the Unionistic Question Paper. The learning outcome to the students, at the end of the lecture, the student will be able to solve problem in Second Law of Thermodynamics. Example number 5. During an experiment conducted in a room at 20 degrees Celsius, the laboratory assistant measured that a refrigerator draws 2 kilowatt of power has removed 30,000 kilojoules of heat from the refrigerator space, which is maintained at minus 30 degrees Celsius. The running time of the refrigerator during the experiment was 20 minutes. Determine if these measurements are reasonable. So, write down the given data. So, the refrigerator work supplied 2 kilowatt, W equal to 2 kilowatt. Heat extracted Q2 is 30,000 kilojoules, time is 20 minutes. T1, temperature T1, so the higher temperature 25 degrees Celsius, 298 Kelvin. T2, lower temperature, minus 30 degrees Celsius, 243 Kelvin. Whether the, whether the measurements are reasonable, check. COP of the refrigerator, COP of the Carnot refrigerator. So, based on the temperature, temperature which contributed to the Carnot COP. So, COP T2 by T1 minus T2. So, 243 divided by 298 minus 243 equal to 4.4. Actual COP, COP actually equal to Q2 divided by W. Q2 equal to 30,000 kilojoules, W2 kilowatt. So, 2 into 60 into 60. So, 30 kilojoules per 20 minutes, 30 kilojoules per 20 minutes. So, we have to divide by 20. So, 2 into 20 divided by into 60. So, 12.5. COP, actual COP is 12.5. The actual COP of the refrigerator greater than the theoretical COP, the measurements are not reasonable. So, Carnot COP, now, Pono lecture is on the Carnot COP, the highest value. Actual COP should be lesser than the Carnot COP. So, Carnot COP value on the 4.4, actual COP on the 12.5. So, the actual COP is greater than the theoretical Carnot COP. So, a measurement on the, it is not reasonable, it is not correct. That is the answer. Next question, example number 6. A household refrigerator that has a power input of 450 watts and a COP of 1.5 is cool 5 large watermelon, 10 kg each to 8 degrees Celsius. The watermelons are initially at 20 degrees Celsius. Determine how long it will take for the refrigerator to cool them. The watermelons can be treated as water whose specific heat is 4.2 kJ per kilogram Kelvin. Is your answer is realistic or optimistic? Explain. So, in the question, May 2019, November 2016, so, what is the data? So, work done to the refrigerator is 450 watts. COP is 1.5. Number of watermelon n equal to 5. Over watermelon weight on the 10 kg. So initial temperature 28 degree Celsius. Final temperature 8 degree Celsius. Specific heat of the watermelon 4.2 kJ per kg Kelvin. So problem the you have to write down the given data. So heat extracted by the refrigerator from the given data. So, Q equal to W into COP. So, W is the work done. COP equal to Q by W. So, Q equal to W into COP 450 into 1.5 equal to 675 kilojoules. The amount of heat extracted by the refrigerator is 675 kilojoules per second. Heat removed from the watermelon. So, number of watermelon, mass of the watermelon, mass of each watermelon, specific heat of the watermelon into delta T, temperature difference. Number of watermelon 5, mass of each watermelon 10 kg, specific heat 4.2, delta T, temperature difference 28 minus 8, 20, so 4200 kilojoules. Now, time record by the refrigerator, heat removed from 
water mill on divided by heat extracted by the refrigerator. So, 4200 into 10 power 3. So, that is the amount of heat removed from the water mill on heat extracted by the refrigerator is 675 watts. So, 6222 seconds which is 1.72 hours. The total for for cooling 5 water mill on of 10 kilo each the time record is 1.72 hour. Time record by the refrigerator is 1.72 hour. The answer is realistic because the actual data is used to solve the problem. So, the problem is realistic. <coughs> Example number 7, November 2017 question paper. A food compartment of a refrigerator is maintained at 4 degrees Celsius by removing heat from it at a rate of 360 kilojoules per minute. If the required power input to the refrigerator is 2 kilowatt, determine COP of the refrigerator, the rate of heat rejection to the room that houses the refrigerator. So, this is the refrigerator. So, work input is 2 kilowatt, Q2 360 kilojoules per minute, heat extracted from the low temperature reservoir 360 kilojoules per minute, temperature of the low temperature reservoir 4 degrees Celsius. Refrigerator evaporator part to the temperature 4 degrees Celsius, amount of heat extracted 360 kilojoules per minute. The main you know, COP you know, rate of heat rejection to the room, in the room, the higher temperature room, you know, all the heat you know. COP of the refrigerator, Q2 divided by W. So, 60 kilojoules per second, 360 kilojoules per minute equal to 60 kilojoules per second, divided by W2 equal to 30. So, COP equal to 30. Now, heat rate of heat rejection to the room that houses the refrigerator. So, COP equal to Q2 by Q1 minus Q2. So, in the equation in the Q2 contributing. You know. So, Q2 equal to Q1 contributing. You know. Q1 equal to Q2 plus Q2 by COP. 60 plus 60 by 30 equal to 62 kilojoules per second. So, rate of heat rejection is 62 kilojoules per second. So, COP of the refrigerator is 30, rate of heat rejection to the room that houses the refrigerator is 62 kilojoules. These are all the answers to the problem. The next problem, example number 8. In the question on the May 2015, May 2017, side by side the program problem to the diagram also given. A ref reversible heat engine operates between two reservoirs at temperature 600 degrees Celsius and 40 degrees Celsius. So, heat engine 600 degree Celsius, 873 Kelvin, 40 degree Celsius, 313 Kelvin. So, the engine drives a reversible refrigerator which operates between reservoir at temperature 40 degree Celsius and minus 20 degree Celsius. In the engine, when the refrigerator is run, so work produced by the engine is given to the refrigerator. The refrigerator is operating between 40 degree Celsius, that is 313 Kelvin and 253 Kelvin. So, minus 20 degrees Celsius, 253 Kelvin. The heat transfer to the heat engine is 2000 kilojoules. So, heat transfer, heat supplied to the heat engine is 2, Q1 equal to 2000 kilojoules. And the net to work output combined refrigerator, engine refrigerator is 360. So, heat engine and the producer are work on the refrigerator, work on the 360 kilojoules. Calculate the heat transfer to the refrigerant. So, Q3 contributing, you know, refrigerator heat transfer and net heat transfer to the reservoir at 40 degree Celsius. So, T2 40 degree Celsius, T4 40 degree Celsius. So, Q2 Q4 value can be So, Q2 plus Q4 value can be So, these are all the information given in the problem. So, problem it is completely diagrammatically represented. So, if you have a problem the diagram represent the solve it is easy. we try to solve Try to draw a diagram. One diagram for the try panning. Given data or chicken, one diagram for the try panning. Efficiency of the heat engine. Eta equal to 1 minus T2 by T1, which is 1 minus 313 by 873. 0.64 equal to 64.2 percentage. Efficiency is also equal to W by Q1. So W equal to Eta into Q1. So 0.64 to 2000 equal to 1284 kilojoules. For W equal to Q2 minus Q1. Q1 minus Q2, W equal to Q1 minus Q2, so Q2 equal to Q1 minus W. So, 2000 minus 1284 equal to 716 kilojoules. So, Q2 value, it is 716 kilojoules. 
Now work given to the refrigerator. So W equal to 1284 minus 360 equal to 924 kilojoules. Now COP of the refrigerator T3 divided by T4 minus T3. So 253 divided by 313 minus 253 equal to 4.22. COP is also equal to Q3 by W. So Q3 equal to COP into W. So 4.22 into 924 equal to 38 999.28 kilojoules. So Q4 equal to Q3 plus W. So 3899.28 plus 924 equal to 4823, 4823.28 kilojoules. Net heat transfer to the reservoir at 40 degrees Celsius equal to Q2 plus Q4, which is 716 plus 4823.28 equal to 5539.28 kilojoules. Now answer to the problem, heat transfer to the refrigerant Q3 equal to 3899.28 kilojoules. And net heat transfer to the reservoir at 40 degrees Celsius equal to 5539.28 kilojoules. So, these are all the answers to the problem. So, COP, refrigerator COP, you can correct the heat engine. That's why we have a diagram. If you have a problem, you can solve it diagrammatically. We have to represent it. That's why we have to solve it easily. We stop here. Thank you for watching. If you have a doubt, you can message me on WhatsApp. I will answer to your question. Question is not. If you have a doubt, I will answer to your question. I will sincerely answer. So, we will continue in the next lecture by for solving few more problems in the second law of thermodynamics. Until then, bye.